What's going on, my fishing brothers and sisters, and welcome to another episode of Day Stone Outdoors. Uh, in this show here, uh, I am on the boat with my brother like no other, my Mississippi River rat brother, Mr. Richard Cluck from Fishing in Freedom. And we are at Crab Orchard Lake in Southern Illinois. Uh, I'll link uh, Richard's channel down below because you're definitely going to check out what he's got coming up. Um, <laughs> yeah, make sure you keep an eye out on his channel because um, he's going to show you everything that happened on his on the side of the boat that he was sitting on. But in this episode here, you're going to see everything that happened on the side of the boat that I was sitting on. Y'all ready? Let's go fishing. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, it's a fish, bro. Definitely good little eater right there. You stabbed me right between, look. Look, right in the webbing. That's the worst spot. That's the worst spot. All right, at this point, uh, we were ready to uh, change out our dragon rigs and go to, uh, we were going to anchor up for a little while. So uh, we started uh, reeling up the rods and looked up, and uh, there was a boat coming, you know, right at us. I mean, he wasn't, like, barreling down on us or nothing, but he was just, like, coming up there, you know, nice and gentle and friendly and stuff. And it uh, turned out it was some bass fishing guy. Um, we talked to him for a while, but we didn't really take him very seriously when he told us he's bass fishing. Uh, what was that guy's name? Um He's got a YouTube channel called The Weekend Angler. I think his name was Josh Dunnigan. Anyways, he sat there and talked to us for a bit. And then uh, after he uh, moved off, <laughs> we got rigged up to do some anchor fishing. And uh, we got to talk to Josh for quite a while. But but uh, uh, he's... <laughs> All right, y'all. Josh Dunnigan is the one that invited me up to Crab Orchard a few weeks ago. And uh, him and Jerry Parker took me up there and showed me around. So, Josh, I just had to get a little poke in there on you because you used bass fishing that day. But anyways, let's get back to the fishing.
experience. Danny's got a fish on. But, uh, if you want to see it, you're going to have to go over and watch his channel. <laughs> watch this video on his channel. Just a little teaser. Hey, y'all. Danny's got a pretty good fish on. I'm about to net. But if you want to watch it, you're going to have to go over and watch his video from this trip on his channel. A little teaser for you. I'm sorry. That was politics. That's snatchy. <laughs> Got that chick mariner rod on there. Got the river cat's tackle hook toward that bottom lip up. Oh, right through the tooth pad, baby. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I'm going to get a picture of that. Look at the tooth pad. Look through the tooth pad. Oh man, these fish don't play. Keep that computer thing, keep you up. Look how that whisker is completely gone on that side. Wait a minute. It might be. No, oh, he, he swallowed his own whisker. <laughs> It's just still weird to me sometimes. All right. All right. Well, let's move to a spot that I fished. Well, I told you before, you know, that I fished with Jerry Parker and Josh Dunnigan. Uh, my first time going to Crab Orchard just like a few weeks ago or but we're going to move to a spot that we fished uh, uh, that night, me, Jerry, and Josh. And so we're going to head over there, and let's see if we can do any good in that spot there. Y'all ready? Let it go. That's the camera. So we were anchored up right here. We tied the boats together with one air. Now there's a drop-off right over there. Because the 16 pounder and the 14 pounder came right off to your right. See anything worth the Yeah. All right, so we're all set up in this last spot that we're going to fish, okay? And I'm sitting there and I've told Richard that I saw his rod tip bounce and twitch or something. I mean, he popped it pretty good about three times. And uh, he wasn't 100% convinced uh, that I saw what I said I saw. But he's going to be. <laughs> Check it out. All right, now if you want to see what happened, <laughs> go check out Richard Cluck's channel, Fishing in Freedom. And uh, he's going to have the, he's uh, editing the video now. And just check out Richard's channel and keep your eyes open for the upcoming episode that's going to show you uh, all the amazing fish that uh, Richard caught that day and uh, how, how much action he had. 
and you'll see what happened with that big takedown right there. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> but, but keep your eye out on Richard's channel because when he puts that video out, you're not going to want to miss it. And I'll, like I said, I'll link it down below for his channel. And, and when he gets that video uploaded, make sure you're there to check it out. Dude, look, see the top and the bottom lip. <laughs> yeah, he, he wasn't going nowhere. All right, that's it. It's time to pack up. We're ready to go home. We're going to drive back to Missouri. And uh, I, I got my first rod reeled in and put away. And I grabbed my second rod. And I'm, I'm reeling it up. And lo and behold, bam, it starts pulling. And I, I reel on it. And I pull it up. And it, the daggum fish got off right close to the boat. All right. But he had the line... From the last rod that I got out, okay, the line from the last rod that I had still in the water was wrapped around the hook. So I just took that line off that hook, threw it in the water, and we're going we're gonna to finish reeling up and get ready to get out of here, and then we'll tell you guys bye. So just watch the rest of it, and you'll see what happens. <laughs> This one go for prosperity right there last fish of the day later buddy
this is the, this is Richard's first trip to Crab Orchard, my second. And uh, I had a good time. What about you? I had a great time. Man, we're definitely coming back. <laughs> and we got to see our buddy Josh Dunnigan out here fiddling around today. We didn't say too much about him. Josh gets enough tension without us bringing him more. <laughs> Watch him catch a bass. Yeah, we saw him catch a bass on a plastic worm. But uh, thank y'all for hanging out with us. We're going to pack up, head to the truck, and get back to Missouri. You're my brothers, you're my sisters, you're my catfish family. God bless each and every one of you. You know, you know, you know that Danny Stone loves you. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye, everybody.